In this video, I want to share with you my experiences with the Hoff. Yeah, not that Hoff, not the, not the one from Baywatch. The SEO company called the Hoff, have you heard of them? Been around for quite a while. They used to, I believe, be a little bit black hat, but now they're completely white hat, so they claim. And they offer a number of different SEO services, including link building, guest posts, and video creation. In fact, do you remember I commissioned them to do some videos a little while back? Put a link to that video up there if you want to check that out. So I've purchased a few things from them for my Amazon affiliate website, bestroofbox.com. I purchased some guest posts and I also purchased a link for $500, uh, which was on a very high trafficking website, a very high ranking website. So uh, yeah, well, I'll show you exactly how it all turned out in this video. By the way, if you've not been following along with everything I've been doing on my affiliate website, do check out this playlist. There should be a link appeared up there and there'll also be a link in the description. That playlist has got all the videos to do with the site, including how I made the site, all the work I've been doing, and of course, the latest earnings and traffic numbers. So yeah, do go check that out if you're not up to speed on it. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Let me show you exactly what I purchased and let me share with you the effect that it's had on the website. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Good to see you, hope you're all well. If you're new here, why not subscribe? Just click the red button below, click the bell, and then you'll be notified when I upload new videos. If you enjoy this video, click the like button. It really does help me out. So let's talk about the Hoff. Have you seen them? Have you heard of them? This is what their website looks like. They've got a number of different services that they offer. They're all SEO related and they do vary in price quite considerably. I think they start from around $60, but you can spend thousands of pounds or dollars with them if you want. And yeah, the services cover quite a broad range of things. They've got content writing, they've got guest posts, they've got video creation and link building and, and all kinds of things. So I thought it was about time that I tried them out. So I purchased a few of their services and they're all for my affiliate website, bestroofbox.com, as I've already said. And I purchased them a little while ago, so we should be able to see the effect that they've had on my rankings and on my traffic. By the way, if you're gonna go check out the Hoff, I'll put a link up now, I'll also put a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so yeah, do appreciate it if you use it. If you do sign up for any of their services, I will earn a small commission. So yeah, thanks very much. So let's start at the beginning. Back in August, I purchased some guest posts from their guest post service. Basically what they promise with this is that they'll create a lovely bit of content for you, obviously around your topic and around your niche. And then they'll put that on a site that's hopefully slightly relevant to whatever it is you do. And that piece of content will of course include a link back to your site. And when you're ordering, you get a number of different options, including the domain authority of the site that the guest post is gonna appear on, the length of the guest post. Uh, I think the minimum is like 500 words, but you can have longer if you like. And you could decide to have it as a one-off or a monthly subscription service. So yeah, back in August, I ordered a DA20, so that's a domain authority 20, free pack guest post of a thousand words. So that's free articles of a thousand words. And yeah, I placed the order. Now I will say I did make a slight mistake when I put my anchor text in, which is one of the things that they allow you to specify. So you can basically say which keywords are gonna be linking through to your site. For some reason, I just put best roof box without any spaces. I don't know, it was late at night or something when I ordered, I wasn't paying attention. Um, but that's not really the ideal anchor text that I wanted, but hey, it will do. And well, yeah. They went away and they created some articles and they put them on some websites and this is what they look like. Um, the articles are of pretty good quality and the sites that they're on I think look reasonable. I mean, I've never heard of the sites before but they do all have the domain authority that they said they would have and they look like proper sites. With regards to the anchor text, I did actually reach out to them afterwards and said, ah, I made a mistake. Is there any chance we could you know, change that anchor text? And they basically said no. So. That's one thing to keep in mind when you are placing your order, make sure that it's all, you know, 100% correct and all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, yeah, you're stuck with it. So those free articles on those sites cost a total of $495, which is quite expensive, I guess. And well, you know, I was pretty happy, but I didn't see any, you know, immediate uplift or anything like that from those links. So 
I thought, well, it's probably too early and you know, those anchor links, they're not quite right. So let's order another free and this time let's get the anchor text right. So I did that, I ordered another free articles, this time I'm going for some DA10 sites, which I think is the lowest one they offer. And yeah, these are the articles that they created and these are the sites that they're on. Again, the sites look reasonable. I was, I was fairly happy with them. They don't look particularly spammy or anything like that. They look like real sites. Um, and by the way, the cost of these free articles on the DA10 came in at just three, four, five. I say just, you know, it's still reasonably expensive, $345. And yeah, I was pretty happy with them. On the 6th of October, I decided to place one more little order for a guest post and I just ordered one guest post of 500 words, which is like their minimum, uh, on a DA10. And yeah, it looks like the one you can see now on the screen. It's perfectly fine. That one was only um, $100. So at this point, I have spent quite a bit of money on these guest posts, but I've got seven guest posts in total. That's seven links to my site. And as we know, it's quite hard to build guest posts organically. You've got to do the outreach yourself. You've got to create content. Um, so this is kind of a quick fix for that. I'm going to talk about the overall effect that these links have had on my rankings towards the end of this video after I've also gone through some of the other links that I've bought. I think I'll do it at the end. But in terms of the traffic from these guest posts, well, when I look in my analytics, there basically isn't any traffic from these links. It's, it's a trickle. It's a couple of visits in a month, something like that. It's, it's virtually non-existent. So if you're thinking of buying these guest posts and getting some traffic, then you're probably not going to. And really the only reason that you're going to get these links is to hopefully improve your SEO rankings. But speaking of traffic, they also offer a link building service where you can get a link on a high trafficking site one that gets, you know, 50,000 visits a month, something like that. So I thought, well, that could be pretty good. I, I would like some traffic. So I purchased one of these links. And now these links, they're not cheap. The one I bought was $500. Yeah, you've heard it right, $500. The site that it appeared on is this one, which when I do my research on it is a pretty high trafficking site and it is a very well ranked site. It's got a high domain authority. So that's pretty good. But you know, $500 is a lot of money. And I purchased this link back in uh, beginning of October. So it's not that old. It actually went live on the 16th of October. So that's only about two weeks ago from now. And well, when I look at analytics, again, there is no traffic coming from this link. It's like, a, again, a very small trickle, couple of visits. That's it. So is it worth spending $500 on a high traffic site link? Probably not because the link's kind of tucked away towards the bottom of the article. And yeah, it's not bringing in any traffic. So I think that might have been a bit of a waste of money. One other service that I took out, which was upsold to me <laughs> during the checkout process, was their article syndication service. So basically what they did is they took the article um, which was on that high trafficking site. And they pushed it out to another load of sites, I think 50 or so in total. It's basically just a copy of the article, but it does link back to the original. And it's a way of, you know, building up some link juice to the high trafficking article, which then in turn links to my site. So some of that link juice should maybe flow through. Uh, I'm not sure that's the idea. And yeah, it was around $65. And again, it's okay. You do get full reports and everything with the Hoff. And you know, I can see that it has been syndicated. I don't know what the quality of these sites is like. There is quite a lot of them. And yeah, I don't really know what benefit that has bought me. I'm just hoping that it's gonna improve <laughs> my SEO rankings. So that brings me nicely on to my SEO rankings. So if we have a look at how well the site's doing, uh, I'll show you a few things on the screen now, including my analytics and um, some figures from Ahrefs, which is a fantastic SEO tool. If we look at that, we can see that overall my domain ranking or my domain authority has increased. It's definitely going up in the right direction. And indeed, my organic rankings have improved. Um, I'm now ranking for over 929 keywords on Google. Uh, 479 of those are on Google US. Um, I've definitely got more links to the site. In terms of traffic, organic traffic is bobbing along kind of a bit flat at the moment. But if you remember from one of my previous videos, which I'll put a link up to now, I think there is a bit of a seasonality problem with my site bestroofbox.com. In fact, 
I'm pretty confident that there is a seasonality problem because people don't tend to buy roof boxes um, quite so much this time of year in the winter. So whatever kind of link building and SEO efforts I do, it may be hard to actually see the effect of them until we get into next year and into spring and into summer when people are actually searching uh, a lot more for roof boxes. But in terms of the other metrics, in terms of the number of links to the site and domain authority, all that is definitely moving in the right direction. So was it all worth it? Because, you know, at the end of the day, I did spend quite a bit of money. I think it came to like $1,400 around that kind of figure in the end, which is quite a lot of money. And I do want to see some sort of return. And, you know, of course, I do do these things because I want to share them with you. That is, you know, one of the reasons I do them. But yeah, I would also like to get a bit of return <laughs> on it as well. So my general feelings are that the guest posts that I ordered based on domain authority, so they were the first ones, the first seven, um, I was happy with those. I think for the money, um, the articles were good and the sites looked pretty decent. And I'm pretty sure looking at Ahrefs that they have increased uh, my overall domain authority, which in turn should hopefully lead to some better search engine rankings. With regards to the link and indeed the guest posts that I bought based on traffic numbers, the $500 link within that guest post on that allegedly very high trafficking site. I don't think that was good value for money. Um, I mean, the site does look pretty good and it looks pretty busy. And you know, when I do the research, it does look like it's got a bit of traffic, but none of that traffic is coming through that link to my site, which I guess is one of the main reasons why you'd buy a guest post or a link on a high trafficking website, because you know, you want a bit of that traffic and you know, I've not seen any of that. So, um, $500 for two visits to my site, that's $250 a visit. And you know, that's never gonna add up. Of course, I may get some benefit in terms of domain um, authority, but you know, if I want that, then I should, you know, just carry on buying the um, guest posts that you, you know, order based on domain authority rather than based on traffic. So yeah, in hindsight and looking at the figures, the $500 link um, certainly was not worth it because you know, I'm not getting any traffic from it. Now we're nearly at the end of this video, but before I go, I did purchase uh, a few other links um, from the Hof. This time I actually purchased some for my other affiliate website, uh, swimsigns.com, which hopefully you've seen. If you haven't, I'll put a link up to the tutorial uh, where I build the site. But yeah, I went for their foundations package, which is like their basic package. I think it was around uh, $60, something like that for you know free links. And well, the links they created, just take a look. They're on like these random blogging sites, you know, similar to like wordpress.com or Blogger, I think. I'm not really familiar with them. They've created these horrible little blogs. They've put some rubbish bit of content up. Rubbish, that means trash if you're American. Yeah, some crappy content up. And just basically, ugh, they're horrible. These are the kind of links I certainly didn't want. And I'd recommend that you don't want these kind of links either. They're just, they're just horrible. So. Yeah, I would stay away from that service, the cheap services. I don't think they're gonna bring any benefit. And if anything, they could have a negative effect on your site because you know it's clear to see that these links are just, you know, they're just crappy. And Google will be able to see that, everyone can see that. So yeah, certainly not worth it. So in summary, the Hoff, I think they're okay. And you know, in terms of their customer service and everything, by the way, I've had a great chat with my account manager there and they've always been very helpful and, and all that kind of thing, so can't you know, fault them on that. I like the guest post service, but the high traffic link thing, just not worth it. And their budget foundation service, again, not worth it because even though it's cheap, the links are just there. I don't know any other way to say it, they're just horrible. So there we go. Hope you found this video useful. I'd love to know your experiences with the Hoff if you've ever purchased anything from them. How did it go? Was it any good? Do leave me a comment below. I, I read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. Do check out my vlog channel by clicking on my other face. And there's a couple of other videos there that we've chosen specially for you, so I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.